let's be real, it is only Thursday, and my Candle Unlimited video thought updates are only Friday to Friday, but I'm uncertain as to whether or not I will, in fact, I highly doubt I'll finish another book before tomorrow, because um, I started The Hobbit, and that's a bit bit lengthy and also I cleaned my room today and so I didn't get tons of reading done. But I did read one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine books this week for Kindle Unlimited Readathon. And um yeah, let's get into them. Alright. Guess we're starting with Carol. Cora and the Nurse Dragon by H. L. Burke. I adore this book. I love dragons. I love baby dragons. And had baby dragons and um yeah, it was really cute. And um what else do you need to know about it? It's a story about a girl named Cora who finds a nurse dragon and everything that means to her family and her world that she lives in and it's really cool because all the dragons have been the nurse dragons were thought to have gone extinct but they actually she finds one and so it's a really cool I'd say it's kind of like 1950s ish meet dragons and dragons are really cool and Cora is really cool it's just a real fun story. Next up, I read Prince of Elysia. Now this is, I had already read a couple books in this series, so I knew I was going to like this book, but um, Prince of Elysia by Annie Douglas Lima, Lima, L-I-M-A, um, is an amazing story about the Prince of Elysia who, who, Kingdom got invaded, and I hope the wind isn't too loud. And so he has to, you know, run away and hide until they like, can get back together. And it's just a really fun story. And I really like how, you know, the whole series is, or at least the first four or five books of the series are all dealing with the exact same few weeks or stuff. I just really love it. And, uh, then, um, I finished Time Hunters by Carl Ashmore. Um, this is a book I didn't finish last week. I wanted to finish it. I didn't finish it. Um, I didn't like it. I mean, I kind of did, but there was too much Greek mythology, and Greek mythology, no, I'm just not here for Greek mythology. I do not like Greek mythology. This just makes me just, no, I don't want Greek mythology in my story. Um, then I read Plan to Fail by Perry Kirkpat Elizabeth Kirkpatrick. I don't have a first and last name written down. It's very, 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 very cute story about this young teenage girl who meets, well, she's like 19, 18, 19, 20, so, you know pretty young teenage girl who um met it's part of the series who met the spy and now she's helping him spy and this is the second one in the series so um it's just really fun <laughs> like just everything about it i don't know what's spoilers and what's not she works at a coffee shop um she and the spy she meets, and she really loves all their spy, spy gadgets and spyiness and all their code names. Uh, it's just great. Um, and um, in the best nonfiction category, I actually read another nonfiction. That is me teach piano. Me teach piano by Amanda Taro. Taro. E-E-R-O, and, um, I read that because it was on Kindle Unlimited. B, I was interested. I've been wanting to read it for a while. And C, like, I 
right now I'm with, with the self-isolation and stay-at-home rules, I've really been feeling stressed about living with my family. And, um, because, I mean, I don't know. So I'm, I was wondering if, if I moved out, you know, whether it'd be possible for me to teach enough piano to maybe, you know, pay my groceries. As like a single person, I wouldn't eat tons of groceries. I don't know. Um, I never, I didn't really, I only had a few years of piano lessons myself, but I practiced a fair amount and I'm a pretty good teacher, so maybe I could do like beginning lessons, you know, enough to get people to where they could read music and just do it themselves if they want to keep learning and move on. Anyhow, enough about that. Next up, I read Castro Island by A.B. Martin. And I was going to say I've completely forgotten everything about this book, but that's not true. Ah, oh, shoot, the chapter is coming down the road. I remember Castro Island. It's a story about a girl who, um, it's another girl who is from an alternate universe, who is a trained warrior, who is coming to try and find the orb and they're saving in this island, Crestal Island, which is, uh, should be a protected, you know, national park, state park, you know, national preservation thing, but it's not, and so it's really, I, I didn't care that much for it. It was very much, oh, save the world, save the world, talking about, which I don't mind, especially talking about, you know, protecting smaller especially when it I mean when it talks about saving you know small diverse ecosystems I'm like yes we do need to save those but I don't know some of the stuff I just disagreed with then I read Perfect Pitch by Alex Hayes and uh, this is book two in the series I was reading series and Perfect Pitch by Alex Hayes. I do not know why I like this series. It's everything I would think I would dislike. It's a YA secular romance. And like they talk about one of the one of the couples in the story. There's a lot. But one of the couples in the story, they're pregnant by the end of this book. Just saying. They're also engaged. And they've kind of been expected to get married since they were really young. But, yeah, um, they're pregnant by the end of the story, um, so, I don't know, but it's quite a fun story. The couple of main characters are aliens, and, um, it's the sequel, so I don't know what to say that's not spoilers. Then I read Dewdrops and Butterflies by Libby May. Um, I was really excited about this one. It's a book I've been wanting to read for since it came out, actually since it before it came out, I follow the author on just about everywhere. And I'm kind of a friend of hers. And I finally got around to reading it because it was on Kindle Unlimited. And it's this really great story about this girl who ran away from her foster parents. And she's really smart and she was able to, you know, stay hidden and it's cursed in fiction so her foster dad is always like praying and praying and everyone's praying and I just really liked it. She finally realizes that she doesn't want to be totally by herself, the main character, and it's just a really cute story and every chapter had like a different type of butterfly as its title, which was great fun. And finally, The Happy Hollisters and the Indian Treasure by Jerry West. Now, um, I, the, there's a note in these Kindle Unlimited saying, yeah, these books were written in the 1950s. Maybe not everything in them is politically correct anymore. And uh, this one, you know, first of all, nowadays we call them Native Americans. Um, but, Realist 
realistically, I liked how the author dealt with it. The author, like, the author, there's another note, it's an author's note as opposed to a republisher's note. That's like, this, this Indian tribe that I made up is a completely made up tribe. I am inspired by, you know, what I've heard, what I've read, what I've learned by these Indian, about these Indian tribes of the American Southwest and just the Americas in general. But it is a completely made up tribe. And I really, really appreciated that. Um, it's a fun story. It introduces more of the classic capitalistic characters. And I really enjoyed it. all the Happy Hollister story. I recommend them if you, like, want them. And, um, that's my Kindle Unlimited Readathon. If you want to help me choose what books I'm reading next, you can either leave me a comment, or you can follow me on Instagram, where I occasionally put up polls. And if you want to support my goal of eventually, at the end of this, in July, if you want to support my goal of finally spending the necessary money to be able to leave reviews for all these books, um, feel free to buy me a coffee down below in the description. And uh, otherwise, just do the YouTube thing and enjoy reading. Bye!